Hello there, here's a video on custom NPC spawners and as many of you know probably you can make spawners with the cloner tool here and you just click on a box, pick a uh, NPC in your list here and hit mob spawner and that will create a mob spawner for that NPC. But here I'm going to go a step further and show you how to modify that information and to make your spawners a little more interesting and uh, flexible. So here I have a spawner set up over there and this NPC is spawned by over there by this block right there. So if I click on this guy he will delete everybody within the green border. I keep doing that. Okay. And then he will respawn because he's only set to spawn one NPC within a certain range and a maximum of one NPC can spawn. So that's how that works there. Um, uh, this originally I had forgot how to or I deleted the uh, command block that created this so I figured out uh, how you can get the information from there is you say block data give the blocks position and then a blank set of brackets there and this will give you the information in this block right there and you can see that right here and it's a tremendous amount of information and it contains everything in there so in here is all the sizes and uh, settings for the NPC from the aggro range to the uh, what he can fire sounds like uh, you could put scripts in here you can have everything uh, the display options so this is how what makes a spawner work but it's at this point it's kind of confusing. What you can do is you can just have something uh, more simple like this here um, is all you really need to make a spawner. So you need set block, Minecraft mob spawner, zero replace. Then you have the maximum number of entities you want to uh, it to be able to spawn at one time. A required player range, uh, spawn count the number of spawns and then the spawn data and the spawn potential areas are similar in this one because I'm only spawning one NPC. So let me show you something else here. Uh, in this command block I'm spawning multiple NPCs. There's three types of NPCs and they all have the same uh, potential to spawn. So can spawn up to I think four NPCs at one time and uh, it's one to four it will randomly spawn so that's how this is working and I'll show you how that works right here this is I've got that exact what's exactly in that command block is right here and as you can see it has the spawn data and right here I have the evil gold knight now he's going to be the first one that spawns because he's the one in the spawn data now then if you move on to the spawn potential area I have three listed and they each have their own weight so here's in the curly brackets here you see the weight custom NPC blah 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 evil knight then I have weight uh, Fireman Steve, and then this last one is Weight One, uh, Robes Black Steve. So the weight gives you the amount of chance it would spawn. So a, a two would be would give you two chances, I guess, or something like that. It would be two, and the other ones will only have one. So it's kind of like a percentage. It's uh, it's weighing it more so. Uh, whichever the higher number is the more chances to spawn so that's how this this spawn block here uh, yeah the spawner is set up and the spawn potential controls that so and you can see I just have a few um, attributes here you need the uh, you need of course the ID the custom NPC that identifies it uh, and then I have walking range return to start zero uh, texture and that's it. Those are the only thing. I could give it size or whatever else. Um, I could give it weapons, different things like that. 
So, but this is this is the simplest thing you need. So, right now, return to start is set on no, and also there's no start position. So, if you take a look at one of these guys here, um, yeah, take a look at one of these guys. Their start position is zero zero zero. So, if they were set on return to home and not uh, wandering, they would teleport to zero 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 so depending on what you're doing with a uh, NPC you might want to consider putting a start position in there and there are format differences between um, the different versions like the weapons if you want the, in the one I have there that's spawning by himself he's spawning with weapons um, in one point 10 it required like a zero between each item that's uh, which was like a, each uh, item slot and now they don't um, it's all handled just by this this is this is 1.12 the second line so just to give you an example they're all different and that's why it's it's uh, a good idea to if you want to do something like this you can get the exact right format by just clicking on this box going down here picking a mob sp spawn that mob and then click this button and then you can uh, look inside of here and you can open up a new file paste that in there and then there it is okay and then you can just take out what you don't want or you can really leave it in if you want to but um, you can find a particular attribute that you want, whether it's, uh, you know, total ticks alive. This would be the right format right there that it's looking for, probably with an L on the end. Um, see, in rotation, it's got a zero prefix right there. And then something else here. Uh, oh, well, that's the, uh, I guess that's the rotation and, and up and down and left and right. So that's uh, that's how you do that. Um, and with this entity data command, you can get the correct format out of here. Um, all right. Now in 1.12, the spawning blocks are similar, and I've got a similar type of setup here. You need light around here and this is a similar block to my uh, one I had in the other one that spawns three guys but in this one I have a little bit different here what I have here I've got the name in here so there's four places for a name I need the the first uh, NCP which uh, is in the spawn data area. I need to give him a name, so I gave him a name Fire. He's the fireman. And then I've got him again also in the spawn potential area, so he gets a name there. The gold king gets a king, and the black robe guy gets black. And they also have moving state. Um, also, I have a start position, and this start position is a little bit different than the start position in 1.10. It has this I prefix here with a semicolon. So, like I said, there's little differences in the versions that you got to watch out for because otherwise these blocks either they won't, they won't, uh, the command block won't run them, or they nothing will show up in here if you have like a something off a little bit. It'll just not show up. So that's the only difference here in 1.12 so you can see black okay there's there's a king <laughs> all right so and this is similar to the other guy I had there which spawns in this position here um, you can just delete him and he will respawn there okay I was testing this guy out um, here you have a situation where the the block is actually down below here. It's and I have it lit here for he will. Um, it needs light to spawn, of course. And 
it so the block is down there and with this around here with a spawn range of one these guys don't interfere with him so I mean if, if he moves over here then another one will spawn there you see it will really trust me <laughs> um, so because the spawn range of the block is is one um, around the spawner so uh, if there was a guy here he wouldn't spawn if I delete that block and then oops and then delete him he's not going to spawn there again so I'll sh pretty sure and uh, that guy respond yes he's not responding so that's the difference here that's the way you can make it for um, it can be a protected area so you'll guarantee at least one spawn or something like that coming out of here and, and no one will interfere with that process um, I think that's about it I was going to show you the here is the uh, yeah, I showed you that. So, and also there is a wiki page here for the spawner, and it gives the various information down here of the different uh, attributes that the mob spawner block would need. So, like I was saying, spawn data, spawn potential, and the delay. I didn't talk about that. There's other videos that talk about that, but minimum delay maximum delay nearby entities players range so there's other videos that talk about these things so I just wanted to cover the things maybe more specific to custom NPCs so I think that's all I have here on mob spawners or <laughs> custom NPC spawners so um,